So this is another video on trigonometric identities with compound angles and this is the type of question we're going to cover now is find sine of 15 without a calculator. So if you have asked something like this, this is the method you have to, to undertake. So there are a few different uh, sine, cos and tans and a few different angles that are in the tables book and that they give to you all the time. So namely 30, 45 and 60, they're in the tables book. So all those angles, they give you the uh, sine, cos, and tan values of all of them. Okay, so you're able to use those. So it's not that you can't have anything, you're able to use those. So somehow you have to turn sine 15 into a combination of sine, cos, and tan of these ones here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the compound angle formula. So we have to somehow make 15 degrees with a combination of these ones. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say that 60 minus 45 is equal to 15. So that means that sine of 60 minus 45 is equal to sine of 15. So now we have to find sine of 60 minus 45, which is easier because we have the compound angle angle formula. So I'm just going to write that down here, I'll go red. So there I quickly just scribbled out the examples. So sine of a minus b is equal to sine of a cos of b minus cos of a sine of b. And you just get that from the tables book. So now I'm going to sub these numbers into this formula here. So we're going to get, I'll go yellow, we're going to get sine of 60 minus 45. So 60 is going to be A and B is going to be 45. So anywhere we see A, we're going to put 60 and anywhere we see B, we're going to put 45. So that's, that's going to be equal to sine of 60 multiplied by cos of 45 minus cos of 60 multiplied by sine of 45. Okay, and now you don't need a calculator for these either, because they're all going to be in your tables book. So if you look them all up, you'll find the numbers are root, root 3 over 2. This one's going to be 1 over root 2. Then it's going to be minus a half multiplied by 1 over root 2. That should be a bracket. Okay, and now it's about just sticking those together. So you're going to get root 3 over 2 root 2 minus 1 over 2 root 2. We have a common denominator, so you can change that into root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2. And that can be your answer. Okay, so I'm going to say that's sine of 15. So if you put that into your calculator, you will get a nicer answer for that. But since the question asks us um, to solve it without a calculator, then they allow you to leave that as your answer. So it isn't the cleanest thing in the world, but it still is an answer. Okay, so that's how you do questions like that, basically. If, if they ask a question along those lines, you have to use that the following method. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to look at more trig identities next. We're going to look specifically at double angles, so cos of 2a and sine of 2a.